Uh, hi, I'm Steve Adebayo. I'm laughing here at the Tisch WNET studio because my good friend and longtime colleague, Ernie Anastas. Steve. He, he needs no introduction. He's the anchor at Fox 5 New York, 6 p.m. every night. Uh, Ernie, tell folks, by the way, Every night at 6 o'clock, what happens on Fox 5? What, what we try to do is we keep it positive. I mean, you know, we deal with news of the day. Uh, this is a format that I worked on with my news director, Byron Harmon. And I said, you know what? For years, I've been on the air, and especially 11 o'clock. And I'd come on and say, good evening, and then proceed to tell them why it's not. Right. So I said, you know what? Let's kind of reverse that a little bit, OK? Let's deal with news of the day, but also bring in more positive stories, okay? If there is a problem, let's find a solution. Let's find out what people are doing to make it better. Right. So con concept is, you know, news, information, but uplifting, positive, let people know what's going on that's, that's positive. Is it harder to do that, Ernie, in the age of divisive polarization? Uh, are you for Trump, against Trump? Nobody wants to talk. Mm. Nobody's open to yeah. any other point of view. And there's a lot of nastiness. No, Steve, and that's just, you know I've known that. you 20 years plus. Yeah. That's not you. Right. No, it's not. But you know what? But it's reality. And, and you know, you deal with this every day as well. I mean, there is a, a difficult mood out there. Um, I, I'm uncomfortable many times with the fact that, you know, we have such divisiveness. And, and I'm looking for ways to be able to bring people together. Hard to do because social media plays a major role. We have so many outlets, so many television channels. We have satellite. We've got internet. We've got everything. And they're all clashing. And people are giving their opinions. And I'll defend, you know, the, the, the right of speech anywhere. Right. Uh, and I think it's good, but I think we have to be very careful with it because we have to be responsible as journalists. But, but there are citizen journalists out there, too. Uh, and they don't really understand it to say, wait a minute, if I say something, if I give my opinion, if I do something, that can influence people. And, and you know, I could get off on this whole thing about bullying and so forth. I'm, I'm certainly not in favor of that. In fact, I produced a, a videotape. Yeah. See, Ernie's so children. good. He's not yeah. only, I'm supposed to be hosting the show, he just set up the clip. Because <laughs> <I know. laughs> he, he knows what's coming. <laughs> yeah. This is a, help us out, this is a music video that you and your team put together. Anti violence, yes. anti bullying? Yeah. Uh, basically, it's yes, anti violence and bringing us together. Let's, let's all put away the hatred and, and work as one. What a novel idea. Let's yeah. take a look at the yeah. clip from Ernie and his team. Hard to believe it. our cities, the world, all of us living with tragic violence. We can learn something from children. Let's heal the divide with respect and our deeper understanding of one another. It's time to stop the violence. What's That's been the, the reaction, message. my friend? Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is that I really felt this. Uh, I mean, listen, we can go on with Newtown, Connecticut, Parkland, Florida, uh, just recently outside of Denver. Uh, you know, the violence is there, and we've seen it over and over again. And I sat down with a guy named uh, Hassan Johnson. Uh, he's a producer here in New York and also in L.A. He's worked with J.Lo and a lot of people. And I said, Hassan, I want you to write the music for me. I'm going to write the lyrics, and I'm going to put it together. And we did. And I ran this on the air. And the idea came to me, especially when I look around and I see children walking to school in the morning. You know how they hold that, that rope, that That's little right. yellow cord? And I'm saying, look at these kids. You know, they're, they're so innocent and pure, and they deserve, you know, a world that they can inherit that's going to be better. Mm -hmm. better than what we have. And so I just thought about it, and I said, you know what, we have to stop this. Because, you know, when, when I think about, like, recently, what happened outside of Denver, you know, this 12-year-old kid, I was reading his story. And here he is in a school where they're shooting, and he doesn't know what's going on, right. and he reaches for this, this bat that he had, and he said, quote, he said, if I'm going to go, I'm going to go down fighting. 12-year-old child. 12 years old. Yeah, I mean, th this is, this is the, the world that we're living in. And I said, you know what, well, we can work at it. If we teach our children, particularly in, in our school system and at home, the home, as you know, Steve, that's the center. We have to be able to teach our children respect, to love one another, and we have to do something about mental health. I think that's a major problem Talk in our about country. That. Mental health. Look, when you start reading stories about people who go off and do things, it, it always turns out that there is some mental problem. 
And we need to be able to work with that in our school systems. Our government's got to get involved. We need to be able to talk about it openly and have, have classes about it. People have, you know, whatever their problems are stored up, but they don't have outlets for it. And then there's that whole copycat thing. You know, we put things on the news. Again, exactly. going back to what we do, you put something on the air and someone says, oh, you know what? I can be, we need to reward good behavior, not bad behavior. You know, I'm curious about this. You mentioned Byron Harmon, yeah. you're, you're the top sure, guy over there. Guy. And he's a great guy, yeah. and I've known him a long time. Um, but I'm curious, because you are so positive, because you have a certain philosophy and attitude, I was asking you how you stay relevant and yeah. engaged in the business for, for more than a couple of years, mm. and you said positive attitude. Yeah. To what degree do you get pushed back from the executives in charge who say, Ernie, look, we're in the news business and a lot of the news is negative, it yes. is bad, but you're saying, look, okay, we'll analyze it, we'll look at it, but we need to see the glass as half full. Push back on that? Well, we're on, we're on the same page. You uh, are? I, yeah, absolutely. No, we, we know that the news has to be covered. We, we need to be able to get the stories out there, cover them fairly, honestly. Um, but we also have to be able to look for some other stories that we can put on the air to give us the balance. And they're all for that. No one's talking about, you know, editing out these stories and saying, you know, we're not going to cover this or not. We're not doing that. We're saying let's cover what has to be done. Mm -hmm. Let's inform the public. But let's also look for stories that can be done that kind of creates, like I said, the balance. Before I let you know, I'm yeah. curious about this. Yeah. Talk, go back to the attitude thing. Attitude, because yeah. Because you are here in New York, yeah. a rough, tough city. Yeah. With heart. 40 years. I just Boy. celebrated my 40th anniversary. Congratulations. Started in 1978. Tell folks, did you start at ABC? ABC, yeah. Started at ABC, yeah. and yeah. Ernie and I had a short stint together. <laughs> News Talk Television, a, we were doing something. Now defunct network yeah, over know. on, uh, we're over on 33rd Street, yeah, uh, over and on the west 8th side. 8th Avenue, somewhere yes, in there, and yeah. and it was yeah. News Talk Television. Right. Well, the, 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 the lineup we had was crazy. I know. Um, Phil Donahue. Phil Donahue, Rush, Rush Limbaugh, Limbaugh, the yeah. whole bit, and yeah. somehow I got in there. You were in Late there, night. Sure. Um, yeah. But Ernie and I used to work out of this building, and I thought, huh. Ernie goes from that to go, you, you went to Fox after that? Yes. Uh, no, uh, uh, yes. Uh, no, CBS. You're at CBS. CBS, yeah. That's the question. Yeah. The re I'm not going to say the rejection, but right. the ups and down, the, uh, Dr. Spencer Johnson wrote a wonderful book called Peaks and Valleys. Right. The peaks and valleys of your career, how yeah. do you stay, how have you stayed, trust me, there's a question here, yeah. so positive through all that? Because uh, overall, I always look at the big picture, and I'm saying the big picture is very good. I was very happy at ABC. I had a great time there. I was there for like 12 years. Right. Jim Jensen was leaving Channel 2. He was an icon. And they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. ABC understood. I went there. I enjoyed it. Uh, and then, you know, there was an opening again. John Rowland was leaving. Over at Fox. It's amazing. 30 years John Rowland was there. So I went there. But in between, I did a few things. I bought some radio stations. I got involved in radio. You wrote a wonderful children's book called? Yeah, children's books. Twix, Teens, Yesterday and Today. And also a, a children's book for young people, The Adventures of a TV Report. I diversified a little bit, and I grew from that. See, to me, it's very important. The life you have is not the only life you've lived. You have to be able to think of yourself as a whole person. Mm. You try something, you learn, you grow, and you ask me about positive attitude, family, home, and I will say this, and I'll say it publicly, spirituality. Yes. And I don't, I don't lock into any particular faith. Maybe there's no faith, but you have to believe in something. And to me, there is a creator, and it's all about love. Ernie Anastas, he's an inspiration to all of us. Been Thank in you. You are too, man. You do great work, by Good the way. Job. I have to say that publicly. Steve, I watch you. You've been around a long time, but what you do every day is fantastic. You are a positive figure as well. Thank you, Ernie. It's about you. Uh, check him out every night, Fox 5, 6 o'clock. Ernie Anastas, a good friend, always Thank a you, friend Steve. of public broadcasting. God bless. Thanks, my friend. Thank you, my Take friend. Take care. Okay. Stay with us. This is one on one from the Tisch, WNET Studio in the heart of Lincoln Center. I'll be right back. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 30 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET Studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Fedway Associates, RWJ Barnabas Health, New Jersey Sharing Network, Valley Bank, United Airlines, Berkeley College, and by the Fidelco Group. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.